back everyone. Just a, a bit of an unusual video today, joined by Alf. A small video today, perhaps a little bit more unusual. Um, I do a technology job and I came across a product the other day and I thought, well actually this has got some applications for uh, van, van life and van use in general. So I thought I'd just show it to you and see what we all thought. Anyway, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about this little product. This uh, is called a Samsung Freestyle. Not sure if you can see that there. Um, I think it was called something slightly different before, um, but in essence, it's a very, very small LED projector um, with a tiltable bottom mount, as you can see. Um, it's also got built-in uh, smart TV style apps, so there's a, a, all the usual suspects, so um, Amazon, Netflix, and all that sort of thing. Um, it's USB C powered, um, and you can fit a little mini HDMI into it. Now, the, the reason that I actually had this was for mobile presentations and the like, it's much less bulky to carry around uh, for people delivering mobile presentations, etc. But actually, I thought, well, Maybe if you were out and about camping, um, you might want to project on the side of your van, maybe even in your van, um, without having to put a TV up and all this thing obviously packs away uh, really small. You can stick this in a, a little storage cupboard or in a drawer or something like that, and have that uh, away so you don't have to have that. And there's low power too. You've got all the apps and stuff on it, built in Wi Fi, etc. etc. Um, but one thing that was, I thought was pretty unique about it, and maybe. Maybe it's not so much in this model, but I've not seen anything too similar. Um, it's the auto keystone in correction it's got. So you can tilt at an angle um, and it will auto keystone itself to the surface that you're projecting on. So it's low power. It's got lots of features, everything built into one. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, get it set up Let's flip the camera around and fire it up and show you what it can do. Okay, so you uh, boot up the machine and you come to this default menu uh, with all the different apps there, as you can see. I'll fire something up in a minute so you can have a quick look at it. Now, I think you can get up to a 100-inch screen on it. Now, I'm not sure how it's coming across on the camera, but I'm sort of projecting that onto a white wall, and I do have some light on as well, just so I can record the video. And I think the picture quality is pretty reasonable. I mean, in a in a, in a really well lit room, or a larger room, perhaps not, but certainly in the context of what we were thinking about, I would say it would work very well. It comes with a remote. Um, you can pop through, just maybe to pop onto YouTube, and see if we can find a video to play. There's also, if I didn't say it before, it's got built-in speakers as well. Brief interlude, if you're watching the, the video and you're finding it useful, or indeed if you watched any of our videos and found anything here that you like, then please do give it the thumbs up. Uh, it would help us so much, especially the early doors of our channel. Um, and if you'd subscribe, that would be amazing. So it won't hold you up anymore. Get back to the video. As if by magic, it comes up with our own channel, which is nice. So I'll just give one of these videos a go. Diesel modifications, diesel heater modifications. This is the standard YouTube advert. You can hear the speaker there. Let's skip that. Hi everyone, we're back again with the diesel heater. Um, I just want to say before we get started actually, Thanks to all the, the viewers and the, the people that liked and commented on the video. It was really great, uh, brilliant for us, and if you'd like it. Well, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, so I think it's pretty impressive, really. So we'll just talk about the costs and etc. and all while I turn the camera around. So, well, perhaps not useful for everyone. I think there could be a use case there in, in certain scenarios. Um, Downside is it's slightly pricey. I think it's a little bit pricey. In the UK, they seem to retail for sort of 550 to 600 pounds. 
um, in the, uh, not sure what they are in the US or around the world. But that seems to be about the price. This is the second generation one, which I think is a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you would be able to pick up on the video that I, that, that I just recorded of the screen. Um, the fan noise is pretty quiet and it seems it seems very responsive and it's actually quite a nice unit. So I could see a use perhaps in an in a van where you don't want to put up a you know a screen somewhere perhaps you could have one I could imagine maybe like a pull down screen that uh, divides the bulkhead you could pull down sorry from the bulkhead uh, to the living area and maybe just have this either permanently fixed or like I said you know just stood on this spinning stand the great thing is it's really easy to set set this thing up because you point it at the angle you want the keystone automatically flips it around and I think to be honest for like a anywhere from like a 50 to 70 inch sort of screen size in sort of a moderate light then I think it's a perfectly good product like I said the only downside maybe perhaps it's a bit um, a bit expensive for what it is but then I suppose if you look at sort of real estate in terms of the inside of your van, there's always at a premium, depending on what sort of van that you've got, of course. Um, but there's always compromises to be made in terms of what you're actually putting in the van and, you know, what you can sort of, you, what you need versus what you can actually fit in your van. And it might be a suitable option for some. So I thought I'd throw it in there, um, just show you. I can always give you some more details. Uh, if you require, just reach out uh, via the comment section. And I'll do that for you, no problem at all. So yeah, it was just a real quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like, if you watched the video all the way through, thank you very much. Um, if you'd like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.